Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, you ever been driving around, you're driving in your Porsche and you notice that your wing doesn't come out? It's supposed to come out at like 75 miles an hour, but it just doesn't come out. That's very dangerous. It's made there for a purpose. It's not for looks. If it was for looks, it would be out all the time. But it keeps the aerodynamics of the car and the downforce in proper position for the style and weight of the car. If you need to change the wing, I'm going to show you how to change the wing and show you where the hydraulic motors are for you to change those as well. I'm not going to pull the hydraulic motor out, but I'm going to show you the two bolts and then pull um, some of the trunk open on the inside and show you how to declip it, uh, how to unclip from the uh, uh, wiring harness, and you can change that out as well. Please make sure you do these small things on your Porsche. If your wing isn't working and you go out and buy like a fancy wing, it's not, it looks good, but it's not keeping the downforce down. This thing comes out at about 75, 70 miles an hour. It does it for a reason. The programmers or the, the concept makers that made this car did it for a reason. And they continuously kept this moving wing the entire time Porsche has been around. Porsche always has these wings. It's very, their, their style. And they've been doing this. This is a 97 that we're going to be working on. This is my 99 race car, but it's the same exact thing. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you get this wing done and let's get right into some work and get it done because there is a little bit of a trick. You have to get the cap molding off to show the hidden bolts and then we'll go from there. So I just did a whole five minute video, but the video wasn't playing. So now I gotta do it over again. So I've got the wing back on here and um, I took this little bodywork tool with the pinchers on it. I have a little set of these. You don't need these. You can use uh, any of those little picks or forks to get your interior uh, body panels out. If you do radios or you fix like window regulators, any of those tools will work as well. This is a 97, so the plastics on here are original and um, they are very brittle. Um, I just wanted to take one off. I was going to show you one, but they popped in and went flying somewhere. So there's three here. One, two, three. And I just took this and I went to take them out. This one was missing, but the two that were on here, the heads just kind of broke off when I touched them because they were so dry rotted. Once I did that, I started to pull um, the wing off. So the wing is connected on the back right here. You see it won't move. So you have to push down with your thumbs, push down with your thumb and pull this little piece out between these two pieces of metal here. So that's down in. So don't pull straight up. You're not gonna be able to get that because there's a lip on the bottom. You see these little teeth hook into the lip right here. So they hook into the lip. That's how it stays on. So push down with your thumb, pull up and just kind of roll it back, roll it back, roll it back, roll it back and then start over again. And when you're right here, just kind of pull. Once you roll it back, you can pull uh, towards the rear, towards yourself, and it'll pop loose. Then you have this beautiful piece right here. I don't know what Porsche um, is charging for this, but I'm gonna look it up and put it in the video so you can see what a new one would cost, but I would like get a piece of sandpaper for like three bucks. Once you get this off, there's a couple of holes right here in the center hole. It looks to be like a six Allen. I'm not really sure, check the spec book, but it is an Allen. It's either a five or a six mil. Uh, you would twist that off and there's one on this side. You pull this piece out and then you can get to these hydraulic motors on the bottom. If yours isn't moving up and down, the hydraulic motor is messed up. But again, that'll be another video. So if you like these Porsche videos on how to fix your own stuff, body work, um, how to save money by doing it yourself, building your confidence, please give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, um, I would say that you, if your motor does work, put the wing all the way up to get it. It's gonna be a little easier than trying to squeeze your fingers in here and your thumb to, to do the maneuverability. If it doesn't work and you need to get it off, well, I just did it with the wing down just to prove it to you that you can do it. Okay, so right here in the wing, you do have to take that piece of wing off. Um, and then right here in the wing, you have to use a five millimeter to go in the second hole. And you're gonna have to take this, um, you see how it moves now? You're gonna have to loosen this up. 
We might be able to get to it just by loosening it up. I, I, I don't know. Or we might have to take it all the way out because I didn't have a screwdriver that was bent at an angle to get down there. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen this all the way up, take it out, take the one on the other side all the way out, pull this piece of metal out, which is basically the wing, the deflect air deflector. And then there's three screws under here we have to still get out to get the bumper out. I just did the um, Allen on this side, the five, and on the other side. So now it's loose. And we're just going to take this metal piece up. Uh, the screws are in there. You can maybe see it underneath. No, it fell out. It's in there. So it's in here. But you can undo this piece right here on the end. It's just plastic. And that'll, whoop, that'll pop out. And then there's your little screw. So you can just stick the screw in here with your hand, get it ready, put it down, and then pop these end caps in. Well, we're not doing anything with this, so we're gonna leave all of our hardware and Allen together in the car. So now that this is out, now you can get the two um, fives here as well, pull that motor out and change these hydraulic lifts to get your, your, um, your tail to work, your wing to work. Now, you need the wing because when the air comes over, the car is so small and so light, it might lift a little bit. Or when you're going around a turn, this, when the, aer uh, when the aerodynamics of the air, the air comes over the car, it hits this wing and pushes it straight down. So you, if you're going fast, you want to get like 70 miles an hour. It might be different in, diff in Europe, but 70 miles an hour, this wing comes out and it helps with the deflection of the uh, the wind to keep the ass on the ground. So if you don't have this and you're doing over 70, like some places in the United States, the speed is 75. Um, I don't know if it's 80 yet anywhere because the state that I live in, it's only 65, but everyone drives 85. So if you're on the parkway or the highway or something, uh, you wanna keep up with traffic, this is definitely gonna help. So this is a safety feature. Don't just think it's to look cool because I really don't think it looks cool. And I think that's why it goes back down because it doesn't look cool, but it is very much needed. Like we have another wing on the race car. I'm gonna show you that here. So in a second. here on the race car, we have a tech art wing and it does help a little bit, but it doesn't have the deflection. It, it pulls it, the air in and then it's open here. And then when your wing comes up, it funnels more air in for this wing. So it works this with this. If this isn't working and you have this on the back of your car, you only have this for looks. This is $800. This wing is $800, maybe more now if you get it painted and everything. But you see how it comes down here, the aerodynamic of the car, it comes down, funnels the air more this way and then hits the deflector to push the car down. It might take like one or two miles an hour away if you're doing like 150, but I'd rather be doing 145 and so in, in doing what I need to and being safe than doing 150 and the wing doesn't work. So please do the right thing. Get your wing fixed if you're driving a Porsche. These cars are just so small. It's gonna be worth it in the long run. So inside the car here, after you have everything um, exposed, you're gonna have to pull out these two little pins, pull these out. Uh, they're like one-time uses. There's nothing to really grab or punch or push through, but they look pretty good still. So pull those out and you see the, the motor is right there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this bolt off here and this, this bolt off here and this bolt off here. And they look like they are Torx, maybe 30s but I would definitely, um, see that bolt right there? They look like Torx, maybe 30s, but I would definitely look it up to see because I'm not taking mine out. Um, so then you would just undo these two bolts, undo these two fives, uh, and pull this thing straight out. And there is a uh, connection in here as well. You have to disconnect this little rubber hose right here for the hydraulic. And uh, there's another one. Where is it? Maybe that's it. And this one. You have to disconnect this one as well. You know? Then pull this thing out. 
and you're gonna get a replacement. And you're gonna connect those two uh, pieces back in. So this is run on hydraulics. So the hydraulic will push the, the fluid up in here and then expand this up like it is. And then it'll suck it out and push it down. It's almost like a um, convertible top. The hydraulic pushes the fluid in, kind of like brakes. Push it, you push down on the brake, that pushes the fluid forward, that squeezes the brake. You let go, that open, it has an opening, so that lets the, the fluid come back. This is the, the same exact piece as well. All right, guys, so here's a little sneak peek of a video that we're working on next, just to make sure that you guys know that we're doing something. And this is a great time to subscribe so you can see what we're gonna put out editing next week. All right, so this is going into our push, uh, Porsche playbook and we hope to see you again. Uh, next week, we're gonna be taking this bumper off so that we can sand these down and get them ready for wrap. And if you like wrap, make sure you subscribe and share this with another friend that is a car enthusiast and likes wrapped cars as well because we are going to be making this car this color green and it is going to be fire. All right, guys, we'll see you.